Hey everyone, the name is Rector, and for the first time in forever, I'm here back again with a video. And this video will be on the 10 rules for an INFJ getting a job or going into work. Now, this is a timely video for myself because I just got a job. I just got a part time job. Three to four days a week, I'll be working uh, with bikes and with communication. And. Um, I like this job because it gave me some room and some time to work more with you guys and to focus on my passion while it gives me some small income on the side. And I like this job because it allows me to do something for the environment and to promote uh, biking and uh, to make the world a little better. And um, I decided to devise this like list of 10 rules for INFJs to give some kind of uh, base starting point because I think a lot of INFJs struggle with the regular uh, hamster wheel. Uh, I've Most INFJs I've met have always had issues with it. I've met a lot of INFJs that jump from job to job, that never really feel satisfied anywhere, that struggle with kind of fitting in in this normal lifestyle and I, I get that and I, I think it's because um, we are not wired to have that as our core priority. And so you have to start 180 degrees from the other perspective. You have to start with more idealistic sentiments, such as what kind of an impact do I want to have on the world? How do I want to make the world a better place? What kind of a person do I want to be? What is my purpose? What is my meaning? What is my goal? And then from there on, you have to get the energy and the motivation and the passion that will take you into work life and that will take you into the streets where you can do things and where you can actually deliver these things. If you start the other way around in, I have to make money, I have to uh, have a normal job, I have to do what people tell me, it's not going to work. It's not going to work for you. You're not going to get the energy and the stimulation that you need and you're going to feel <laughs> depressed really. Uh, because that's not the kind of life that you're meant to have. So what are the 10 rules for an INFJ? First, I think as an INFJ, you need to create your own path or way. Don't follow what has been prescribed to you. Don't follow the standard education routes that people want you to follow. Don't go into the job that people expect you to get. Don't do the things that people expect of you. Uh, do what you want to do. Do, what, do something original. Create your own path. Create your own education route. Uh, find the own subject, subjects that you want to study. The own things that you want to learn about. Follow your passion and follow your own sense of order. You're not about the dot 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 order. You're not. You're about the. Uh, you're much more about a subtle, intuitive order. You're about an original order, creating a new routine, creating a new way. And uh, so, if you find yourself walking too much in other people's shoes or in traditional, you'll find yourself lacking the energy. Rule number two: Be a leader, not a follower. And I say this to all I and introverted judging types. Be a leader in the sense that you focus on taking responsibility for yourself. Take responsibility for yourself and make up your own rules and make up your own laws and make up your own mind and your own goal of what you want to go towards and what you want to search for. Uh, focus on, in a sense, yourself and what you can do. What impact you can have on the world, where you can make a difference, rather than what other people could do or what other people could do better. If you focus too much on other people and what they could do differently and how they could do things differently, and if you focus too much on adjusting to what other people ask of you, that will lead to unnecessary stress and anxiety. Rule number three. Form new and original ideals and values. Formulate new values. Work with new ideas. Work in fields that are 
less established, work in places where new things are happening, where routines have not been developed yet, where STs haven't taken over, where, uh, where, there, there, where people need sharp minds and people that can create something new rather than follow what is prescribed. Formulate also values and focus on here idealistic sentiments such as more what kind of people should we be as humans? How should we treat one another? What is the good way to live? What is happiness? What is right and what is wrong? Formulate a sense of ethics and a strong ethical code of conduct. Rule number four. Meditate and philosophize and think about why things are the way they are. Take a step back frequently from day to day. Go on your own. Find a place for yourself just to relax. Just think freely, daydream, detach, disconnect, and get perspective. Make sure you always have perspective. Make sure you're not running through life blindly and that you're not overwhelmed all the time. Make sure that you always get the time for perspective, to ground yourself, to know what you want, to know who you are and why you're doing what you're doing. It's so easy to get caught up in... Uh, all the people around you and everything happening and all the actions and events but it's not gonna give you the energy that you need to survive and to stay healthy and to thrive number five find a sense of purpose and meaning focus on your intentions what you intend to do what you want to do what you strive towards focus on your mindset what kind of a person do you want to be? What do you want to achieve? What is your purpose of what you do? Don't blind yourself over your lack of results or how much you're not achieving or the effects and the things you're doing in real time. That's not as important right now. You will have results. You will make an impact. But let that impact come from who you are rather than what you do. Don't stare too much at the result or at your score but it's because it's going to drain you off your energy and it's going to give you excess stress. Rule number six, form a strong code of conduct and assert your idea of how we should do things and how we should treat each other. A feeling and judging type is a person that cares more about how we do things than what we do. Really, it doesn't matter so much what we do as long as we are good people while we do it. As long as we are doing it the right way. As long as we do it in a way that is respectful and good towards ourselves and towards the people around us. So focus on that question of how can we do things better? How can we, take, how can we do this in a way that will help and will support the people around us? How can we turn good ideas and good innovation and good products and good projects into something that is executed in a way that will be good for the people involved, for the workers and for everyone around us. Focus on the atmosphere around things rather than the project itself. Rule number seven, focus on symbolical capital. INFJs are all about symbolical capital and that kind of means what kind of impact do you have on society as a whole? What have you achieved? What have you done? What is your purpose? Focus on that question of who you are and building up that strong sense of identity, that strong existential awareness of who you are, why you're here, what your purpose is and what you are meant to do. And then focus on doing that, executing that, building a name for yourself as the person who did that, who started this, who uh, worked towards this. Become that person of purpose that people will uh, appreciate, that people will uh, value for this action, for this work. And uh, become the symbol for the cause that you champion. Become the person that represents what you are working towards. Be it sustainability, be it humanism, be it atheism. Whatever it is that you want to set out to do. Become the symbol figure of that action or of that movement. Rule number eight. Focus on autonomy and independence. You require a great deal of personal freedom in what you do. 
And you also require independence in the sense that you need to get the respect from other people in the sense that they know that you will do the right thing without supervision. You don't need supervision. You don't need anyone to tell you what to do. You don't need anyone to micromanage you. You need to build up that uh, reputation where people know if this guy is given free reins, it will be good for all of us. It will benefit all of us. Uh, get the, the autonomy at your workplace uh, where people know he will always do the, he will always take care of himself. He will always handle it. He will always do what is necessary because uh, autonomy is so important for energy for an INFJ. Rule number nine, focus on the task of elaboration and expanding awareness. Take things that we know or take for granted and begin elaborating on why these things exist and what is behind it. Teach us more about these things. Teach us more about the subtleties in all of this and learn and discover new things about these actions, about these tasks, about what's happening. Uh, focus on that topic of elaboration because that really drives your feeling function, that really drives your articulation function, feeling and judging. Rule number 10, always envision. See before yourself, before you do something, how it will turn out. Focus on that inner eye of how things will happen, what will happen, what you, how you see things developing. Speculate, because you're often more right than you're wrong. Often what you see and what you guide will be better than what you do in instinct. INFJs have terrible instincts, but they have a great capacity for seeing what is going to happen and following a vision or following a passion and at that point uh, of removing yourself from and detaching from your instincts or from the crowd mentality and from what everyone else is doing. So I hope these 10 rules resonated with you and if it did feel free to leave a like and share and subscribe and thank you all for being here with me for this second year. Let's do amazing things together. Let's keep on working to challenge MBTI related stereotypes and to promote tools for growth for all personality types. Thank you all for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next video.